hey youtubers thank you so much for tuning back in and welcome back to another episode on the deep learning series in this episode we'll be looking at an application named deolify which converts black and white images to color images anyone who has previously worked with photoshop knows the effort and time it takes to restore a black and white image and this developer made the impossible possible by training a neural net which does the whole job if you guys are looking at using this application without installing it on your PC, you can directly go to the link provided uh, in under the quick start option, which will take you to your website where this application is running online. You can also find the link for this website in the description below. On the website, you can upload your own images or you can put a link for the black and white images and then it will convert them directly. For the sake of the demonstration, I'll be using this image and I'll just paste it and we'll see the results now. process is completed our image will be shown in the preview window area that's the converted image let me quickly show them side by side to see how well the image is colorized the next part of the video i'll be showing you how to install the deolify application on your ubuntu system and let's just check that now to run this application on your local PC, you'll be needing a CUDA enabled graphics card. I'm using a 1070 GTX card for that purpose. For the software, I have used Ubuntu operating system and let's start the process now. We will start the process by installing the CUDA drivers for the Ubuntu operating system. You can find the links and everything in the description below for you guys to follow in. Open the terminal and copy these commands to add the repository to our system. Next, we'll be needing to update the package list for us to install the drivers. Now that the packages are updated, we'll be using the following command to install the CUDA drivers. Now that the drivers are installed, we'll be needing to reboot the system for the changes to be applied. In order to make the whole process easier for us, we will be needing to install Anaconda for Linux. I will be putting the links for that in the description below. Please download it and we will continue the process. After the downloads completed, we will be installing it by opening the downloads folder and right click in the empty area and select open in terminal. Type in the following command to start the installation process. You can find all the commands used in the tutorial in the description too. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Now that the required software is installed, we will continue the process of installing Deolify. Let's continue the process by opening the terminal window and then changing the directory to the documents directory. And once you are in the documents directory, we will be cloning the Deolify repository. Let's do that now. Use the git clone command to clone the deolify repository to the downloads folder. Next, we'll be opening the deolify directory by typing in this command. In order for these models to be working properly, we need to download the train models. You can find the links for these models in the description below. So let us now download them. Let us copy the downloaded models to the models directory under the deolify folder. For the next step, we will be needing to set up the Conda environment. To do that, we will be typing in the following command. Now that the Conda environment is created, let's activate it by using the following command. Open JupyterLab using the following command. In the Jupyter Notebook, on the left panel, you can see all the files available in the deolify directory. Select the image colorizer file and then you need to execute the code. To execute the code, you need to select the code and keep pressing the play button. And block by block, the code will be executed. So let's do that now. Let's 
speed of execution of the colorizer block depends directly on the power of your graphic card as I'm using a 1070 GPU it takes a while so please wait for that to be done for the sample purpose it will be showing a sample image colorized and let's see that now process of conversions completed it will be displayed at the bottom you can also find them in the results directory under the deoldify folder Let me quickly download some sample black and white images so that you can see how we can actually transform our own black and white images as an example. Copy the images that you want to convert to the test underscore images directory under the deoldify folder. Need to make some changes to the colorized block in the Jupyter notebook. Remove the source URL and replace it with none. And change the source path to the address of the image that you want to convert and then run the code. Conversions done, you can check the converted image in the results underscore image folder. Let us do a quick side by side comparison of the images now. And uh, yeah, the, the results are quite good. This application does a wonderful job at colorizing the images. It looks too natural. Let's now check some other samples that I used to convert using this application. If you like this application, you can check out the developers page in the GitHub. You can find the link for that in the description below. If you guys love the video, do give us a thumbs up and also want any updates in the future, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching this video and take extra care of yourself. Goodbye.